John, we're here at Square Talent, Bellator Fan Fest. Um, how exciting is it to see Bellator MMA athletes, your athletes, on a Lewis? Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit surreal that um, I was driving at the, the nice road there and Queely there behind me was staring into my car the whole way up. So it's definitely, a, it's definitely a big step forward for MMA in general in Ireland to see this level of recognition. And just big, another big show in September, the Tree Arena. You're involved in a lot of them again. Can we go through a couple of them? Obviously, Queely's fighting Ben Benson Henderson, an absolute legendary fight yes. in MMA. Just yeah. a few words on that. Yeah, that's that, that's an enormous fight. Uh, people involved in MMA at all will certainly know the name Benson Henderson, but that's that's a guy that's been uh, everywhere, he's been the top top guy in the world at one stage. And for Queely to have this opportunity again in front of the sold out tree arena, all those fans, like I kind of half joking, I wore the Dublin jersey today because we we're on our way in to put a uh, carry to sleep. And Peter will do the same in September against Benson Henderson. And the other fighter here today, Kieran Clark, in action again, he's on a f fantastic winning streak, especially in the Tree Arena. He's fighting George Sazu. Word on that, Kieran, like, it feels like the last two events of Double Triple have elevated to a real fan favour. He's here today, obviously, but shows that Bellator really rated him. Yeah, I, I, I almost like smile thinking of the image of all these buses taking off from Drogheda on, on the morning of a Bellator event. It must be half the town come down because every time I walk out with him, he could be the first fight, he could be middle of the card. You hear this incredible eruption of fans. The Drogheda fans really have gotten behind him. You know, I've spoken about Kieran in the past. He's fantastic in the cage, but all he's done for the, the town, the city, outside the cage as well, has been, it's been pretty inspirational. So I'm looking forward to him having another good fight in September. And then again, plenty of the usual faces. Brian Moore's back in Trevina, Pedro. Carl, Carl Moore's back again. Which yes. Was great to see him back at Bellator. Yeah, Carl Moore is a guy that I've always taught for the last couple of years. He's a bit of a diamond in the rough. He's a super athletic, light heavyweight guy. Um, not too many guys can... Uh, kick, kick a can off your head the way Carl can. He's got incredible flexibility, great fighter, great pedigrees, multiple time Cage Warriors champion. Now he's in Bellator. Bit of an up and down the last couple of years, of course, COVID, but now he's been really consistent in the gym. He's got big Johnny Walker there as a training partner, and uh, he's got a very hard fight in September, but we're looking forward to seeing him rise to the occasion. There's plenty of international action on the card as well. It's great to see that Dublin's really becoming a home, a permanent fixture in the Bellator calendar for these big international fights, like not just European. Yes, fights. yeah, I think, I think, uh, up the dubs. I think Bellator has really shown that, that they're not just putting on the local guys, which is great, you know, the fans love to see them. But we've had world title fights here with Gegard Masasi, and this one now is a fight that you will not want to blink. We have Joel Romero, ex-Olympian, UFC star, now over in Bellator, and against, you know, one of the hardest hitting guys uh, that's ever been in the sport. So to watch those two go at it in, in Dublin is going to be a real privilege for the fans. And just finally, all those years ago when you watched UFC 1 with Hoist Gracie, did you ever think you'd be standing beside him at a shopping centre in Tallaght? <laughs> you know, a couple of years ago he came to open up my gym and that was that was very surreal. And, and here we are again uh, with a Lewis full of uh, Dublin and Irish based MMA stars, with Hoist Gracie uh, telling me stories about the beginnings of MMA. Um, I have to pinch myself every now and again. Well, John, best of luck in September with all your fighters and good luck in the build up. Thanks very much.